What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're back on UFC Undisputed 3. We've got the webcam definitely working in this video, so you guys will see the webcam the whole time. And the fights have actually changed, I think. That's actually a proper on a proper UFC card that he recently lost to Cub Swanson. We could have a tune-up fight against I don't know how that's a tune-up fight. And that's not a tune-up fight. Uh, George, right, we fought him, that was a tough fight. We could try and take on this guy, Brazilian guy, submissions, ground and pound, BJJ, black belt. It's a tough fight to take. Co-main event, you know, he's recently had two losses in a row. Yeah, let's take this one, let's take this fight. You know, they say tune-up fight, but it's really not, because he's tough, you know, um... Obviously, I haven't uploaded the last episode of yet, so I don't know if you guys want me to go up or down. I'm just going to go with what feels right. The one thing I do know is we'll always do is we'll go to Pride. The second Pride becomes available, we'll do every single Pride fight, every single Pride event. All of them, either that means we have to vacate our title or miss out on a title shot, we'll always go to Pride. Alright, guys, it is fight day. We're on the co-main event. For some reason, the main event is Demetrius Johnson, the man we've already beaten. And, um... I changed my shorts. I've now got some actually sponsored shorts by MMA Elite with some logos on, so that looked pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've got to watch out for this guy's ground game. That's pretty much all we know, so we're just going to get into it and, and see how it plays out. All right, on, let's boys, go. let's get it. I'm not letting him take this to the ground. Catch him with that chip. Nice counter right off the start. Boom, front kick. Body kick, leg kick, boom, boom, nice. Ooh. I was ready for that. Boom. All right, hold on. Let me rotate around. I don't want to be caught against the cage. That's the thing. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, nice step back by me. Bing. Catch them with good shots. I'm all over, I'm all over him. I'm all over him, he can't compete. Get on the inside and he can't compete. Boom, body kick. Body kick. Boom, boom. Ooh, that rocked the screen. Yeah, how'd, how'd that feel, huh? Depends how much he's got in the tank, in his body. Don't know how much body health this, this boy can... Depends what this boy can eat, eh? Boom, that was nasty. Good first round. Good first round. He didn't try and take me down even once, which is surprising. Um, once we realized, once I realized that about a minute in, I just kind of let the kicks go a lot more. His body's got to be hurt for sure. Keep piecing the body up though, you know? Because that drops the hands. People drop their hands down and you can then just put them away with it, you know? And that's kind of Sergio Martinez's tactic, is he, he hurts them in the first, beats them up in the first, KOs them in the second. So he doesn't really finish fights in the first very often. Bing! Oh, right down the pipe. That was nice. Right? You feel him open that guard. Bring that back. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Get that double 
Oh. 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 Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Bing. Ooh. Now this is where we want to be. Oh, okay, good combinations. There we go. Probably shouldn't get on the ground with him, really. He's going to try and make me tap or something in here, and I can't compete with that. Boom, eat that. Boom, eat that too. Boom. Oh, okay. He cut my eyebrow, I think. He's quite. He's, he's heavy handed, I'll give him that. Making a mess of this man right here. Oh, I'm a little bit tired at the end of that round. Whew. I might have to be careful. I might have to be careful. I suppose he's not more tired with that lack of stamina, but I suppose I'm throwing a lot more than he is. Okay, I don't want you looking at him. I want you step jabbing with the quick jab. Okay, he's got nothing. I want him to take Could be the first time we go to points, really, you know? We just gotta keep the fight standing. If he takes us down, there could be a bit of an issue because we are low on stamina, which could be part of his game plan. But you just never know. But hopefully not. I was just making sure the webcam was recording this time. Bang, that was a nice drop as well, actually. We dropped him with that one, didn't we? So it's probably 10-9, 10-8. I forgot I have a fly knee. Oh, that was nice. I went for it. I went for the fly knee there. He's a tough dude, this guy. Going back up. He didn't like that one, did he? A little sidestep, a little back step. Gotcha, 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 fuck you. What a performance that was, holy shit. Holy shit, we weren't stunned, we weren't hurt, we weren't dropped down, we weren't in any danger, we weren't in an uncomfortable position for almost a complete three rounds. I mean, what a fucking fight. Bang, rocked him with that one. Bang, straight to the face, dropped him. 
follow up ground and pound crunch I rocked him with that one bang that back leg comes up out of nowhere and that's all over that's all she wrote that left leg comes out of nowhere bang out cold ladies and gentlemen referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest Let's go, at boys. 2 minutes 40 seconds of the third round Declaring the winner by knockout, Sergio Savage Martinez. His body wasn't as bad as I thought, but we landed 84 kicks and 61 punches. His accuracy was terrible, man. He missed 104 punches. Shit, me. And he was... Knocked down once, because the knockout doesn't count. But look, no takedowns performed, no... Nothing. Nothing. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. That puts us up closer as well, you know. That's a, that's a tried and tested guy, you know. But we're just too good. We are just too good. We're having tough fights. You've seen it. You've seen we're having tough fights, but... <clears throat> we're on another level. And Demetrius Johnson won submission of the night. Uh, but, you know, he was recently knocked out by us. So, you know, it is what it is. That puts us to 12th in the rankings and 13 and 0. Let's go. Can we beat the Khabib status? Can we get to that 30 and 0 in MMA? Like what no one has done inside the UFC before. Possibly. You never know. You just never know, man. You know, in MMA records, there's barely a 30 and 0. All right, we can go up to short. We can go and fight Sean Shirk up in lightweight division. We can fight Mike Brown at featherweight. Yeah, just all featherweight fights. Leonard Garcia, that's a tough fight, man. That's a tough fight. He's recently fought Jose Aldo and lost. It's a tough fight though. Mike Brown, however, now that is a tough fight. But we could go up to lightweight. See what lightweight's all about. But are we going to end up like Izzy? And we're going to go up to like heavyweight in MMA and we're going to lose. These are tough fights. These are always tough fights. That is a main event though. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. One thing I will guarantee you guys is you will be entertained. Win or lose, you guys will be entertained by that fight. You know, we went down to Bantamweight and we were the tough one. We were the big one. We were the one that hit harder. Now we're going up to lightweight. It could be the opposite effect. We could be the weaker one. We might be the faster we could be the weaker, especially against Sean Shirk. You know, I think he was more of a wrestler. He'll be facing Sean Shirk in his own weight division. It's going to be tough. All right. Main event in the lightweight division. Sean Shirk. We are the same height, though. I've gone up to 155. He's a lot older. So this is like almost a lightweight passing of the torch. But we'll have to see. Let's get into it. Main event. UFC fight night. Different weight class. Our third weight class already in our MMA career. Let's get into it. Alright guys. First fight at lightweight. Ooh. That is not what we want. That is not what we want. That is not what we want at all. I don't know what his chin is going to be like. I don't know if his, if his stand-up is going to be as good as mine. I know he's already dropped me. I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, is there a way I can, I think counter punching is going to be the method to this fight, to be honest. Like that, you see. See the counter punches coming. See what I mean. See them coming. 
There we go. Counter punch. Adjustment. There we go. Counter punching's working a treat. Drop him with that one. Get your ass up. Get your ass up, boy. Boom. Oh, shit. Yeah, you caught me with that big overhand. Ah, oh, I gotta watch my range. Fuck. All right, well, rocked badly, dropped, but I have, I have fucked him up as well. I'm going to watch my range a little bit better here, and uh, your opponent can't take much more damage to the head. Okay, I'm going to watch my range here, and I'm going to really counter punch, because when I miss a counter, he always catches me with that left hook. Um, so I'm just going to have to take this second round a little bit easier. You know, I feel like I've tied up to some some extent that second round, that first round, sorry. So I think we have a good shot here. But Sean Shirk likes to wing overhands, man. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, again. Fuck. No, recover, 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 recover. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Get off, get off, get off. Ah, oh, come on! Don't don't do that. Let me let me circle. Let me circle. Ah. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I let him catch me with too many shots at the start. Had we gone into that, had the middle of the first round been the full experience, going to this round, I would have been able to knock him out. But, because he hit us with so many shots consistently in that first round, even in the first opening, I mean, like, what, three or four shots, the first 20 seconds Ladies dropped us. referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 51 seconds. I really thought I had it. The second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Muscle Shark, Sean, Sean. I'm sure this fight will get overturned because he'll later turn out that he's on steroids because he definitely is on steroids. But, oh, God, he was so weak as well. That hurt, especially because he threw so many punches there. He threw so many punches. That's tough, man. That's really tough. I th oh, fuck. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, you really do. <sighs> we're going to have to improve, and if we want to go back to lightweight, we're going to have to just do better. Not get hit with as many clean shots, man. That was it, that was it. You know, our counter punching was really good in the middle of that first. We won fight of the night, but it's not really what I want to be remembered, remembered for. 13 and 1. Oh. Fuck. It's tough. It's tough for sure. It's tough. Actually, a loss motivates you, you know, more than a win does. It's it's easier after a win. You did everything right. You did good. You, you know, everything went as planned. And there's no adversity. After I lose, the, I want to get that winning feeling again. So look at the positives of that happened in the fight, which was for me, just seeing how much I improved. 
within a year fighting. You know, I had fought Dominic Cruz a year before just to see how much I improved till then. When I moved down just to start training with Uriah, Uriah was fighting Dominic Cruz for the world title, and like I hadn't even started my career. Oh, and that might win fight of the year as well. Are you kidding me? All right, let's see what's next. New division again, up to lightweight. I don't think we can go up to lightweight. Maybe we'll go up to lightweight. We'll get our revenge up in lightweight. Maybe we'll have a tune-up fight. I don't know, though. Ross Pearson. Oh, that's tough. It's always tough to lose. It's always tough to lose. Especially after we went down a banner way and didn't beat Demetrius Johnson and had such a good first fight this episode. And then to lose that is, is really tough. So I suppose we could... Go back up to lightweight and try and get our lightweight revenge, or we just stay down here. And we just beat somebody up. I mean, how was that a tune-up fight? Like, what the fuck? Dude's 89 overall. That's not a tune-up fight. Unless just featherweight is just so easy for us. That's why everything's a tune-up fight for us. Oh, I don't know what, what fight to take. Alright, I'm going to go back up to lightweight, take on Ross Pearson. It's a filling fight, a short notice. I've just come off a lightweight loss. I cannot be afraid of the lightweight division. So we're going to get our revenge. We've got one week to train. And, uh, and yes, yeah, so let's let's train. And then we'll try and get this revenge and, and be confident back at lightweight. Because then we know we're 13 and 0 at featherweight. We're, no, we're 12 and 0 at featherweight. We're 1 and 0 at bantamweight. We're 0 and 1 right now at lightweight division. So, Pearson plans to give Martinez a painful introduction to his new weight. I've already had a painful introduction to the lightweight division, thank you very much. Alright guys, Ross Pearson, lightweight division, let's get into it in the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe down below for more. Let's aim for like 50, 70 odd likes on, on this one, 50 to 70. Um, that'd be really appreciated, so thanks as always for watching. And uh, this is maybe my favourite career of ever. This is up here with Ray Taylor, I'm not going to lie to you, it's up here with Ray Taylor. This has been a lot of fun. And, um, you know, I look forward to doing more. And I'm definitely going to do the whole way to retirement for this career. Back in the day, I was only doing like 10 episodes. And if I win the title or not. But this one, we're going to do all the way to retirement. Because it is tons and tons of fun. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.